Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, please uh, give this a like, please subscribe, please follow um, my Instagram and the Facebook page. Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a quick review, a review of the Microtech Stitch. Um, this one actually was sent in for customization, so it's not your normal this is actually going to be m390 stone wash and black this one was cerakoted um bronze and navy blue now this is an automatic so before we get into this know that you need to check your laws state laws make sure this is legal and not illegal because it would really suck if you got this and couldn't carry it or you got this and you couldn't you're not actually supposed to be able to buy it and then you just broke the law like that's a really i think really crappy situation so don't put yourself in that situation check make sure um other than that um, let's go ahead and get into actually some size comparisons first um let's start off with the uh bare knuckle Let's get this into the frame here. There you go. As you can see, it is overall longer than the bare knuckle. Um, and blade length is longer, too. Let's do against another Microtech, a UTX-85. UTX as you can tell, it is quite a bit bigger than this guy. Let's do it up next to the Shaman, by Go Shaman, if I could actually open it correctly. As you can tell, you're gonna know something like, the Spyderco is also known for this, is having a huge amount of handle versus the blade. You know, that's it, the stitch is the same way. Um, there is a reason behind that. Um, it's something that uh, other brands do, like, like Spyderco. Um, there's your 940. You're at a slight angle. That's why I'm actually putting all the size comparisons at the bottom so you get a better view of it. And why the stitch is at an angle. Here's your red one. There you go. And last but not least, well, actually, we're gonna do one more after this. This is your Strider DC. One of the best knives that I honestly would say of 2020. Now, we're gonna do it up against the Daiwa. S90. Now this is a custom, so this is a in a completely different league to a um, to a normal stitch, unless you got something than a custom stitch. If you got a custom stitch, that's different. But if we're just talking about your normal uh, Microtech stitch, these are two different leagues. Uh, as you can tell, they are both similar in height. They're both wide, pretty thick, but s both stout. Both come to a reasonable thin tip. If it would focus, in one day. There we go. Very, very thin tip on both, but also very stout at the same time. Both pretty thick on the handle. Obviously, the clips are a little bit different. So this is overall pretty wide. Now, you're looking at roughly five, four or five ounces. Um, and that's heavy for a lot of people, so do keep that in mind. Carry profile though, let's also look at that. Um, 940. If you're used to the 940, 
and having other things in your pocket, know that you really this is going to be what's in your pocket. That's it. Nothing else. Um, you're not going to want anything else because this is going to take up all the other excess room in your pocket. Um, and then if you compare it to something also like UTX-85, there's a big difference in the carry profile. Um, the closer one to it would be your uh, Shaman. Now, if you're used to a Shaman, this won't be much of a difference. The only difference, really, is going to be the swedge right here. So you're going to get a little bit of a uh, protrusion um, there. Not a big deal uh, if that's what you're used to. Um, action. It's loud, it's snappy, it's fast, it's quick. This is not a this is not something you hand out to someone. Especially people that you don't know, that don't have never had it or handled an automatic. Because I think, unless you have the opportunity to be like, hey, hold tight, and then they can go. In fact, as long as you do that and you know they're not gonna be actually completely terrified, because these, let's say, let's let's be realistic. People generally think of these, and OTFs are the ones in the movies that always the bad guys have, and that are scary, and that are just weapons. And in reality, this is for utility, utilitarian factor. Make it quick, one-handed, without having to worry about hitting a flipper or thumb stud and missing. Um, the bad thing about obviously automatic is it is two-handed closing unless you are good and have used plenty of automatics. You can get it, but it's it's very hard to do it. In fact, even that scares me. It's a little bit harder to do on camera. I will admit so. I am not going to do that again, uh, but the reality is, unless you've done it multiple times, over and over and over, um, and just handle a lot of automatics, that's not something you're going to be able to do right off the bat. Um, in fact, like if you're on a ladder, I'd recommend not doing it. Um, the good thing about this, though, is if you are on a ladder, rip this out really quick, do this, make your cut, put whatever you need to up, and then you can close it. That is, helps a lot. But if, if you're in a situation where you need both hands to close it, but you don't have both hands, I think that's the the main issue with automatics. Um, with the stitch here, the clip is nice. Um, it holds a de quite a bit of fabric. Um, the only thing is it does go up and then this, so it has the potential to catch on things. Um, Whereas, let's say, the stri let's say a strider clip. Oh, it goes straight up. It doesn't then curve. Um, so it won't catch on your pants. You won't have to fight it at all um, going in. Now, unless you're having a th relatively thick pair of pants, you won't have to fight it. But just something to keep in mind. Uh, this hole here is just a aesthetics. It doesn't actually do anything. Um... <clears throat> It's basically the part of the design of the original stitch uh, by Borker Blades. Um, those are customs, but those range between, I think they start at around 18, um, 1800, so. And all I've ever seen is ones for two grand, so. This guy is actually in the range of about four twenty, uh, four twenty-five, um, sometimes more depending on the style or what you you get with the blade. Whether it's mirror polished, whether there's any extra detail to it. The reality is, though, this has a a lot of fine details to it. that other automatics don't have and so it definitely justifies the price now yeah i would say cheaper would have been 
obviously better, but that's with almost everything. So, oh, I would like this a little bit more if it was cheaper. That happens all the time. Um, <clears throat> this does have great ergonomics, both back here, great here. Um, that way you can pull and go through whatever you're going through and have no problem. Um, it is decently thin behind the edge. It is not like laser thin, but it'll definitely cut anything you need to. Uh, unless you um, decide that you really want to uh, skin hairs and you want to whittle them, then maybe, maybe not. Um, you might be able to actually do that if you get this sharp enough. Um, but it's not going to be the best one out of anybody's collection to do that. Uh, but ergonomics, great to push cut and to also choke up. Now you are looking at a four inch blade with roughly three and a half inches of cutting edge. Um... Three and a half, closer to like, I, I have a ruler right here. I'm pretty sure it's closer to actually three inches, more like, yeah, yeah, three and a quarter. That's about right, yeah. Yeah, I got three and a quarter of a cutting edge um, from a four inch blade. Some people dislike that a lot, um, but those who use their knives hard. And then you want to be able to choke up and have other options. This is great, especially how they do the harp, the um, swedge and the harpoon right here, um, because when you can rest your thumb right here, choke up, and it's extraordinarily comfortable for whatever task you want to do when it comes to detailed stuff. Now, <clears throat> do be weary of who you're around. Um, with this because it is large, in charge, loud, fast, um, and people just a lot of people just don't understand that. So, uh, you may scare your neighbor. Uh, you may scare Susan. Um, you may scare um, Bill over there. Um, and whether you, you're next to him, and you open it up and you scare the crap out of them, and. Never want to talk to you again. That may happen. But just be aware of who you're around. Um, <clears throat> this guy right here uh, is definitely one that I personally will not ever get rid of. Um, it's a unique uh, automatic. It's very Microtech. Uh, you, some people will say, well, it looks like something Microtech would just think up and do themselves. No, they did get it from another uh, from custom maker. Um but I definitely would say um, out of all the Microtech designs, this is up there at uniqueness and very good at being utilitarian. Um, and it fits an automatic very, very well. You do have huge um, backspacer or stop there, um, which makes total sense. These are all T8s, and this is a T20, so if you need any particular tool, there you go. You know what size, uh, which is great, because they're big, deep fasteners that will not strip. Uh, you would have to try to strip them. Uh, don't do that. Um, and Microtech has always been known for their uh, tri-wing, uh, one of the their um, homemade in design um, specific screws but and the stitch is actually Torx um, and large Torx too so you don't have to worry about it stripping um, that is going to be it for this one uh, I would definitely recommend this guy especially if it is legal in your area and you like automatics. Um, it's definitely not going to be for everybody. Uh, and if you're okay with the weight, great. If you're okay with it taking up most of your pocket, great. This is definitely a fantastic auto. One of the best you can get. 
hands down and would recommend. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one.